Welcome back to edition four, where we move on to look at what happens when the position report from a train is used to detect where it is. So where is the train? Well, train position reports should tell us where the train is relative to the Belize groups the train has passed over. However, normally we only hear about the front of the train. In order to work uh, to use position reports totally to determine the position of the train, we also know, need to know where the rear of the train is. So how would this work? Well, let's go back to fixed block sections. We have no train detection now. However, we are using the position reports to determine which sections are occupied and which are clear. So the train will transmit a position report to the track side that will enable the track side to determine that the first of the sections is occupied. As our train moves along, it will continue to make position reports. And once it enters the second section and makes a report, then the track side can determine if that section is also occupied. So the train moves along further. At some point, it will make a position report that will confirm that the rear of the train has left the first section first section is now determined to be clear and a movement authority can be issued for the second train. We can also use position reports as part of moving block. So as our train moves along, it will report its position. Now, it doesn't always report the position of the rear of the train. So in this case, the area occupied by the train, shown by the red line, has extended to reflect the new front of the train and the last rear of the train. So the movement authority for the second train cannot be altered. The train moves along. At some point, it'll make a position report. In this case, it can confirm where the rear of the train is. So the short red area indicating the track side's considered position of the train is short, and that enables the movement authority for the following train to be issued right up to the rear of the first train. So what are the challenges of relying on position reports? Well, the first one is that the train may have divided. So we need a system on the train to detect that the train is in one piece and to know where the rear of the train is relative to the front of the train. We also have the problem that we are relying on those position reports. If the train is not communicating, then we will not get an update. Either we will not know where the train is at all, or we will only know where it was last. And we need to have a system to manage the potential the train is not where we think it is. Another challenge is when the system is reset. Until each of the trains has been in communication and reported its location, the track site doesn't know where any of the trains are. So either you have to consider the whole railway to be occupied or the whole railway to be clear with the risk that you'll find a train where you don't expect it. To address this issue, one solution is to use a mixture of train detection and position reports. This is known as hybrid. Hybrid has a number of different variations, but effectively you have long train detection sections covering many fixed blocks or potentially a section of moving block area and in the absence of the position reports you can use that fixed train detection to establish that sections of the line are clear. It is not a perfect solution but it is a good solution to the problem of losing communication or trains that cannot confirm that they are in one piece. So that is levels two, three and are complete.